Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to take a first look review of the new 2020 Land Rover Discovery Sport. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this first look review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2020 Land Rover Discovery Sport is on the smaller side of the British brand's lineup, but it still packs big SUV features like three-row seating and off-road toughness. For 2020, Land Rover improved on the Discovery Sports formula with a facelift, an upgraded interior, a touchscreen infotainment system with excellent smartphone integration, a mild hybrid powertrain option, and Land Rover's latest Terrain Response 2 traction control system. Two engines will be available, both turbocharged four-cylinders paired with a nine-speed automatic and standard all-wheel drive. The standard engine produces 246 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque, while the top-of-the-line R-Dynamic HSE variant will come with a 48-volt mild hybrid engine producing a respectable 286 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. For the 2020 model year, the Land Rover Discovery Sport gains new off-road technology. For starters, the ClearSight ground view system displays a camera view of the terrain directly ahead of the car onto the infotainment screen. Also, as previously mentioned, there's the updated Terrain Response 2 traction management system, which has the ability to handle more varied terrain and lock the rear axle for traction or disconnect the rear axle for increased efficiency. It's not just the powertrain that has been improved. The infotainment system has leveled up as well. The Discovery Sport will come with a single screen touchscreen system that, when optioned correctly, will feature Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, along with the ability to connect to the infotainment system through an app on your smartphone and smartwatch. Other options include a color head-up display and a built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. The 2020 Land Rover Discovery Sport has a standard sliding second row that gives it a lot of flexibility. Land Rover quotes 60 cubic feet of cargo volume with all the seat backs folded down. Other improvements for the 2020 model year are available massaging front seats and a sustainable seat material called Lutex. It's designed to simulate leather but is made of recycled polyester microfiber. The 2020 Land Rover Discovery Sport has a release date of summer 2019 which is just around the corner. Pricing isn't available, but I anticipate that it'll be within the same bracket as the current models, putting the starting prices in the high 30s. Okay, let's jump into this first look review of the 2020 Land Rover Discovery Sport. Now, uh, what we're going to do here is they have some features. They want to let us know about quite a few different key features that this new Land Rover will have. They want to talk about some design features, versatility features, capability, technology, performance. We can see them all up here. Versatility, capability, technology, performance. And we can also look over the different models. And so what we're going to do is check out all the features. We're going to look at all the different models. And we'll also take a look at the gallery. Let's start with the gallery first, I think. Let's go over there. Land Rover does make beautiful vehicles. Funny thing is, not just a week ago, I actually t went for a test drive in a 2014 Range Rover Sport. That 2014 Range Rover Sport was a be beautiful vehicle. I actually did a build-in price on the 2019 Range Rover Sport HSE. If you're interested in that uh, video, I'm going to put a link up to that in the corner right now. Okay, let's run through these gallery images. I think there's nine exterior photos, and I think there's eight or nine interior photos. We're not going to look at those videos, so we're going to run through these real quick. We can see right up here at the top that they actually give us a little information. They let us know that this is a Discovery Sport R Dynamic HSE in a color call Ferenz Red with optional features. Here's a different shot of it looking okay. Here we go. Here's one in what they call Brian Blue. This is a Discovery Sport. Uh, here's an R Dynamic in that same red. And here's one going through water, showing its, its capability. And over the mud, showing its capability again. And then out on the road. 
and then up a hill with your bikes and everything on the back, right? They're showing it with the with the optional luggage roof box and the tow bar mounted bike carrier they're showing it with. And then, oh, look at that. They got a trailer towed up to it. We'll have to find out what the towing capacity is if they're going to let us know what the towing capacity is of this uh, Discovery Sport. We're not quite sure. Maybe they'll tell us. We'll find out. Okay, so that was the exterior photos. Let's look at these interior photos. This one is the uh, Light Oyster with Ebony Windsor Leather with the Light Oyster Stitch. That's what they're calling that one. There are nine interior photos. Look, they're showing how many people they can fit in here. They call this the 5 plus 2 seating for up to 7 passengers. And they're showing us... guess I cut myself off there. Uh, here's the panoramic roof. Uh, that looks really, really nice. The seats look beautiful. This particular uh, angle makes these seats, whatever color combo that is, look very beautiful. Here they're showing that light oyster ebony Windsor with the titanium mesh trim finish. Here I can even see down at the bottom you're going to have three-person uh, seating for your driver. Here's a nice shot of that uh, slide and rec recline seating uh, for the second row. And the color that they're showing it in, the interior color, is called Acorn Windsor Leather. And I don't know about you, but uh, I don't want the word acorn in anything. All right, so let's see. What is this? This is the uh, wealth of innovative driver assistance technologies are there for you. So they're showing some. They're, so they're showing the clear sight ground view in the infotainment screen, which I did talk about a little bit in the intro. Uh, we've got this other photo here. This is awesome, by the way. Driver-focused cabin for a comfortable and informed drive. Look, you've got the whole uh, digital information display screen, and it looks great. You've got your digital speedometer. If anybody, if you watch my channel, you're a regular to the channel, you know I like digital speedometers and heads-up displays. If you don't know that, you see this right down here in this bottom corner? Go ahead and click that subscribe button and then start watching my videos, and you will see. Uh, let's move on. We've got, what, two more slides. Here they're showing the shifter and, of course, the uh, wireless charging, the wireless charging pad that's down here. The shifter looks pretty nice, too, I might add. And last but not least, they're showing the driver information display on the infotainment. And this one's showing that you can choose your different hues of ambient lighting. So since we started off looking at the gallery, we're over here talking, continuing that theme, talking about the design. That's the features we're talking about right now. They're letting us know that there are two distinct styles, uh, body styles for the Discovery Sport. There's the Discovery Sport R Dynamic. It's bold and sporty. And then there's just the regular Discovery Sport, on the other hand, which enhances the vehicle's iconic design. So you've got the regular one, and then you've got the, the more beefy, sportier one. So I don't know what this is supposed to be, but as we slide this, the colors of the Land Rover change, but yet I don't see anywhere where it's actually telling us what those colors, what the color actually is. I guess it's just showing us the full color palette. I don't really know. At any rate, it looks interesting. I think I prefer it more in a red than this aqua green blue or whatever that is. Okay, we can also explore the interior. You know, I, I build in price and look at a lot of manufacturer websites, and uh, some of these move better than others. This one doesn't move that great. We're not going to spend a lot of time looking over here, but we do get a little shot. The pedals look really nice. Uh, all this in the center stack, it looks pretty good, I guess. And the infotainment looks pretty good. I can see the head-up display uh, little thing right down there. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad in here. They also tell us that it's a sophisticated space. And yeah, we would expect that from the Land Rover Discovery. We'd expect it to be sleek and spacious. And then they're saying something here about premium materials uh, are used throughout the redesigned Discovery Sport. Uh, there are new veneers and things like that, and there are a choice of four interior finishes that are available. So, cool deal there. Let's move on and talk about the versatility features for the upcoming 2020 uh, Land Rover Discovery Sport. I kind of talked about and touched on the versatility, meaning, you know, the utility. How much storage and all of that can you get in this thing? So, if all the seats are folded down and you only have the two front seats up, 
then you can get 60 cubic feet of storage capacity. If you go ahead and have uh, three seats up, let me go ahead and do that. If you get three seats up, then you have 49.8 cubic feet of volume. If you go with four seats, now it shows 39.7 cubic feet of volume. And then if you have all five seats up, now you've got just 30, just the space back here is 34.6 cubic feet. And then if you get that 5.2 optional third row seating, then you really don't have any space back here. You got 6.8 cubic feet of space behind those seats, right? Maybe enough for a few groceries. I kind of showed this in the intro. This clear sight interior rear view mirror is kind of interesting. Uh, it says... How do you see past passengers when all their stuff is in your way, their heads, their gear, all of that? It says with clear sight interior, rear view mirror, you can enjoy an unobstructed view regardless of who or what is behind you. All right, we'd have to play the video, but we can, see, we can assume that there's probably a camera system just like the new Cadillac CT6. Yes, I did not want to. I don't like to play videos within a video because it doesn't work well. But we can see by the video they want to show us that right at the top up here, they have a camera that looks out right over the back. So I called it. It's mounted up high instead of down low. So if you got a whole bunch of noggins in your way and you can't see out of your rear view mirror, well, you've got this other view deal. And yeah, it, it is just sort of like the Cadillac CT6, which has that digital rear view mirror. And there's a couple other manufacturers that are starting to get on that bandwagon. And obviously, Land Rover is uh, one of them. Okay, we went through uh, versatility. Let's talk about capability for the new uh, 2020 Land Rover Discovery Sport. Obviously, all-wheel drive for this vehicle is it's standard all-wheel drive right we know what all-wheel drive can do it, it but the whole thing is a lot of people think that all-wheel drive is only good on slippery surfaces but actually the reality is is that it also improves dry weather traction as well so it improves all uh, areas of performance whether it's wet or dry I already talked about it but we've got that clear sight ground view camera which is going to display a view of the front underside of the vehicle on the large central touchscreen, making it possible to see through the hood of the Discovery Sport as you drive. The Terrain Response 2 system, now the third time I'm talking about it, is pretty cool. It's got uh, four driving modes. Uh, it monitors the driving conditions and takes the award-winning Terrain Response system to the next level. It can automatically select the most suitable driving mode for you as well. The infotainment system is going to be pretty action-packed. It's going to have a lot of technology inside this 2020 Discovery Sport. Right, I already talked about the 4G Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, they've got something here that they're going to call uh, in-control interface, which allows you to stay informed and focused on the road. Whatever that means, maybe that means that uh, what? They're going to say, oh, passengers can readily stream their favorite uh, shows, clips, and songs while the intuitive in-control interface allows you to stay informed and focus on the road. So does that mean that somewhere around here uh, you can see your music and what's going on so you don't have to really necessarily take your eyes off the road? Or does that mean with the heads-up display that it'll display some of that stuff on the screen so you don't have to take your eyes off the road? They don't really say. So here you can get Apple CarPlay and, uh, and Android Auto. They have something here that's called the Online Pack which can ensure passengers are constantly entertained while you stay informed with the smartphone pack, which seamlessly integrates connected uh, devices with your Discovery Sport. So this thing is going to be all about packages to probably get everything that you want. Of course, when you're talking new vehicles, especially new high-end vehicles, you got to talk driver assistance technologies. Uh, these are going to be optional technologies on the Discovery Sport. And, uh, and they've also got a range of standard driver aids too, like Lane Keep Assist, emergency braking, driver condition monitor. That sounds like a driver attention assist like Mercedes where it's paying attention if you're getting drowsy and stuff like that. Uh, there's added, you can add increased functionality such as adaptive cruise control with steering assist with one of our pack options. So they call their packages pack options. So lots of cool stuff there. Uh, doesn't sound like it's going to be cheap though. Uh, like I said, there's going to be a couple of different engines out there. Uh, one of them, the top-of-the-line engine, is going to have a mild hybrid system. 
Uh, there's a lot of manufacturers jumping on that bandwagon right now. The 2020 Discovery Sports going to have an active drive line. It says off-road active drive line delivers even greater levels of traction, stability, and composure. While on the road, it improves cornering capability and fuel economy. Then they say there's configurable dynamics. There looks like there's a lot going on on this screen. And I'm just going to just jump out there. Right off the bat, it doesn't seem like it looks very intuitive. I mean, there's just a lot of buttons and this and that. It doesn't seem very intuitive, but maybe it is. Anyway, uh, the configurable dynamics. It says selectable characteristics such as suspension and steering can be individually configured uh, to your specifications. Right. And then there's the models, the different configurations, the trim levels of the 2020 uh, Discovery Sport. So then you're going to have the base model Discovery Sport. Then you're going to have the Sport S. Then you're going to have an SE, Discovery Sport SE. And then they have these R Dynamics over here. I'm sorry, there's six of them, oh, six trim levels. And then there's three R Dynamics. And then you, so you have the S, SE, and HSE, and the R Dynamic uh, trim level as well. Here they're letting us know that there's going to be lots of uh, st stylish, tough, and practical Land Rover gear and accessories. And if you want to be super cool, they have lots of branded goods that will help you prepare you for any adventure. There it is. So, yeah, uh, this is a 2020 Discovery Sport. They can't really do a build and price on this right now. It's, the vehicle's not quite out. What they really let you do is they let you explore models a little bit further. If I were to do a building price on one of these, I'd be interested in the Discovery Sport SE. I like the 19-inch wheels. I like the premium LED headlights. And it's just going to get more stuff. Now, on these R-Dynamics, I think the R-Dynamics are nice. But boy, they sure do get really, really spendy. They sure do get spendy. But if I was going to be interested in it, I'd probably be interested in the base model R-Dynamic S as well so let's take a look at an r dynamic s as well as the discovery sport se so on the discovery sport se some of its key signature features are those uh the wheels although they said that it had 19 inch wheels although they're telling us oh here it is right here hang on a sec there it is i had the wrong toggle switch they just showed the sport the s and the se so we can see a Discovery Sport. Here's what a Discovery Sport looks like. 18-inch wheels, standard LED headlights. You get this Touch Pro. That's their intuitive in-car multimedia system, right? And it's got the 10-inch touchscreen. And then you do get the driver assistance features like lane keeping assist uh, and all of that. And what else? The driver condition uh, monitor and emergency braking. I guess I'm just going through all of them. We will get to the SE. We will get to the SE, but I might as well go through all of them, seeing how they have it set up. So the S, some of the features of the S, it gets a different style 18-inch wheels. Of course, it still gets those standard LED lights. Now it gets some different uh, seats that feature 12-way electric front seats and two-way manual headrests, and they're available in ebony-grained leather. All right? Now, down here on the tech part, now the S gets this connected navigation pro all right so that's pretty cool and of course you get the driver assist features now on the se that's the model i said i'd be interested in if i was looking at the regular discovery sports i'd like the se it's got the 19 inch wheels of course now we have we're talking the premium led headlights with daytime running lights right and auto high beam assist We've got the 12-way seats with the two-way manual headrest still, uh, but in ebony grain leather. Now we've got the interactive driver display. That's what they call theirs. It's a high-resolution 12.3-inch uh, driver display. Uh, really, really nice. It uh, gives you convenient access to your phone and media, as well as other select features. Then the driver assist. They've got all of that. Of course, the lane keeping assist the driver condition monitor, the emergency braking, and then, of course, now there's the blind spot assist as well. With that one, it's got the 246 horsepower engine, seems like. Uh, it's got the 380-watt Meridian sound system. Oh, they're showing different specs at a glance. 
Now, they're showing the 18-inch wheels. We know these aren't the 18-inch wheels, so maybe that's not correctly. Uh, I thought that was going to be specific to the SE, and apparently it's not because we know the SE has 19-inch wheels. So they're a little bit all over the board. They're just showing us, I guess, oh, we can view some of the specs. We're just seeing a few of the specs uh, at glance, and I guess that's okay. We get it. Okay, now on the R Dynamic, right, here we are on the R Dynamic. We're going to take a look at the signature features of those. Now, I said I'd be interested in the R Dynamic S. This is the R Dynamic S. It gets these 18-inch wheels that are really cool, but they're, R, but they're S wheels, so they look a little bit better. Uh, you get the same 12-way seats uh, with manual headrests, and they're in the same black leather, but now they have red stitching. Uh, now you get the Connected Navigation Pro. That's all good. And you get the Driver Assist. So really, all you're really getting is an appearance package and a beefier motor. How much more are they start, uh, charging you for that? I'm not sure. Right? Then on the R Dynamic SE, you get these dark, uh, satin dark gray 19-inch wheels, the premium LED headlights, uh, the 12-way the, the electric seats, uh, the interactive driver display. So I guess the base S uh, doesn't get the driver display, which is nice. I do like that. The driver assistance features and then the blind spot assist. I guess it's official. I've gone through all the configurations. Even though we can't do a build and price, we've actually looked at all the configurations, all six uh, of the upcoming 2020 uh, Land Rover Discovery Sport. Now, finally, last but not least, we're looking at the R Dynamic HSE. This one's the fully loaded. It gets the tight 20-inch wheels, the premium headlights with the daytime running. Now we get the 14-way seats with two-way manual headrest, so you get a little bit better seats. With the Windsor leather with the red stitching, you get that clear sight interior rear view. You get that 380-watt uh, Meridian sound system, and you get the whole drive pack with the adaptive cruise control, high-speed emergency braking, and all that there. They basically throw everything at you, but they should because it's going to probably be very expensive. All right, so yeah, that was a complete first look review of the upcoming uh, 2020 Land Rover Discovery Sport. Very cool vehicle. I'll be happy when it's out so we can do a proper build and price review. Uh, up until that point, hey, that's great. We've got a lot of great information. I like the vehicle. If you found this first look review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you've also watched this from the beginning to the end, you're, you rock. You're awesome. I really appreciate it. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a nice day, and I'll see you on the very next video. This is a very nice SUV. I like it.